Hi, it's Bob again with JD Squared, and what I'd like to show in, you in this video is the computers that have been outfitted to our Model 50 series benders, 51, 52, and 53, and this is it right here. This happens to be a Model 52 that it's on, and we have the optional auto stop for the computer. The computers come um, on all the machines, and they will give you a digital readout within one-tenth of a degree of where the spindle is. The auto stop option is just that, it's an option, it can be purchased separately, it's very affordable, but it is offered as an option if you desire you need it. We're going to show you both the manual operation and the auto control here. Alright, the important things about the computer are is it has 100 bin programmability. You can store program 0 through 99 and it will remember it. So let's say you're, you set program 6 to a particular degree that you're bending to, you turn the machine off, when you turn it back on, it will remember you are on program 6 and where you are. It won't remember the zero location of the spindle because you're going to have to zero that out once you load the tubing. You only have to do that the first time you load tubing. That is not a, a continuous requirement. Once you set one tube that you're bending, you're good to go on zero. Let's go ahead and start the computer. Alrighty. And as you can see, it's saying program or bend 5 and we had pre-programmed it at 90 degrees so it remembered what we were doing. Right now it's blinking at you and it's showing that that program is 90 degrees and like I mentioned you can store 100 programs. Now if you hit the plus button here what's going to happen she's going to cycle up. If you hit it once quickly it'll go up one number and if you hold it down she'll cycle through. The left button does the opposite. You hit the minus button and you're backing down your program. So let's say we want to go to program oh I don't know you know 75 just hold the button down she'll zip up and whoops I'm sorry went too far let's back up a little bit here and there's program 75 right there and it's telling you it's been preset at 200 all the programs come from the factory set at 200 degrees and that way you're not restricted on how far you can bend in a manual mode it, the computer will let you go to 200 degrees alright what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our program 5 setting. Let's back up here a little bit. Right there. I'm sorry. Right there. We're on 5's too. Now if we hit both buttons it takes us out of that mode. In order to switch modes from program selection to operation we hit both buttons simultaneously and it'll, it'll blink at you when you're in program selection mode and it won't blink at you when you're in zero mode. Now in, the, or in operation mode. Now the two buttons in operation mode act a little differently. The zero button if you hit it, it will zero out the counter on the spindle at your start position. The right button, on the other hand, will allow you to set a bend. So let's go back into program selection mode by hitting both buttons. And we're going we're gonna to down to go to program 4. We're going to hit both buttons to get out of it. What we're going to do now is let's say we want to go, oh, I don't know. Let's, well, let's just see where we go. Hey, 93.5 looks good to me. We're going to hit the set button. At this point, the computer has permanently remembered that program 5 is set at 93 and a half degrees. Now we return it back and we're good to go. If we turn the computer off, turn it back on, you're still on program 5. Let's go ahead and make a bend. I'll load our tubing. We've got the quick release pressure screw system here. Pop it in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the pump. And before I start the pump, let me mention something about temperature. Um, since we're using a hydraulic solenoid valve, they're relatively sensitive to the temperature of the oil. So if you live in up north Canada, say, you may want to let the pump actually run a little bit, heat the oil up, because the higher the viscosity of the oil, the thicker the oil being cold, it is going to affect the accuracy of the machine. Typically you'll get a couple tenths of accuracy, two to three tenths, usually the worst case scenario, but cold oil may kick you up into the four tenths or half a degree. That's still pretty doggone good, but we just thought we would mention that. Let's go ahead and start the pump. First thing we need to do is zero out the counter. Now what it is, we have play right here. And all we're going to do is take our pendant and we're going to bump her forward and we're going to remove the play. Like right now the play is gone. Now I hit the zero button. We're at our start position. At this point, let's go to 20 degrees manually and I'll totally control it with the pendant. about a tenth off. Eh, real quick. Come on, baby. Ah, see, I overshot it. In manual mode, you're not going to get quite the accuracy you'll get in auto mode, but you'll be pretty doggone close. If I had stopped a minute ago, I would have been within a tenth of a degree. Now we're going to allow the computer to take over, and let's see where we're going. We're going to 93.5 degrees. Let's go on to 93.5. All 
right, so we missed it by two tenths, and like I say, that's typical accuracy right there. Now, if we retract the ram a little bit, we can go ahead and remove our tubing. Disengage the drive, Paul. Return the cylinder back to the starting position, and then retract our cylinder also back to the starting position, and we're pretty much good to go on our next bend. That simply, that pretty much sums up the entire computer operation of the Model 50 series benders. Um, they're very, very simple to operate, very reliable. They run on DC power. So if you did need to take one on a job site, let's say the Model 51, which is a manual bender, and you could literally take yourself a little battery pack with it. It requires seven and a half volts, and you're good to go. Um, that's essentially everything. Um, if you got any questions, please call sales or tech. And thank you for very much for watching the video, and have a nice day.